to get some accommodation. It's um, on Noosa North Shore. So that's where we're heading now. Yeah, we're on this rando dirt road. <laughs> Just the quickest route to Noosa North Shore. Going through, I think the area is called Kalula, but it is a bloody beautiful area. Have a look. So it's actually nice today because you can see the, the low clouds coming through the mountains up there. And it's really nice and rolling green hills. And yeah, really nice area. So let's get rolling down to Noosa North Shore. Heading off to, we're about, well, how far are we away from the ferry? Oh, probably another 150 metres. We're going over, we're at Kalula, and we're going over on the punt to Noosa North Shore, and then we're going to punch up Tiwa Beach, all the way up Tiwa Beach to Rainbow Beach. So, big day on the sand. Yeah, and um, how long have we been waiting? Oh, about 10 minutes. Yeah. There's two punts here, so it goes pretty quick. Yeah, but it's two different lines, and people just go to the same line. <laughs> but yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Got a good day. Hopefully. Sunny, no wind. Hopefully, <coughs> don't jinx it. Hopefully, we get um, some swimming in. I'm already prepared. Are you? Yeah. Let's get into it. This is beautiful. All right, let's go up to that third All right, cutting. Mate, straight up, straight up. Yeah, we're now we're at the third cutting uh, on Noosa Beach. Because the first one, you can't turn left on the beach. Look at that. Look at that water. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Quit the beach drive. Let's go for a swim. Bam. Drop the table off. See the boy. Jeez, it's easy going. Yeah. Or don't drink it. Alright, 8Ks. 80? Yeah. Right. Let's hit it. Let's get into it. Tiwa Beach and it's Double Island Point which is just out the front window now and yeah on a weekend she's busy <laughs> She is 
busy. All right, so let's double on. Pom, we'll go over to the uh, Laguni bit now uh, on the Rainbow Beach side, and I bet ya it's twice as busy as it is here. Nah. <laughs> I reckon everybody goes here and says they're gonna go to the lagoon after, and then they get distracted. Cause there's some permanent setups here. Yeah, you can surf up this end. It's, oh God, it's beautiful. The water looks so amazing. Yeah, but so is the lagoon better than this? Yeah. But you can't, you can't surf at the lagoon, I believe. All right, well, we're on the Rainbow Beach side now. And um, the wind's obviously hitting this beach. It's very, it's quite windy outside. So just do a quick uh, show you around. Very cool place, massively popular on the weekends. That's the lagoon side done. We check the water temp. It's pretty cool over here with the wind. When you get out of the water, the wind is um, uh, yeah, onshore on this side, off uh, up on the open ocean side. So we're going to go over there, have a bit of a um, look and a swim maybe. But I tell you what, not bad. She's busy. Yeah, definitely busy. But fun. <laughs> you can still get your own spot. All right, let's get back to the ocean side. Might be time for a swim, I think. This place is, uh, it's as beautiful as it is busy. <laughs> All right, swim time. That's it from T.Y. Beach. It was incredible! Yeah, we might have to bring Mummy back here tomorrow. We're running out of SD card space, so I'm going to have to go back and dump this card. And uh, maybe we'll come back out here tomorrow, because it is supreme. Bloody beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it doesn't matter how busy it is, and we were just saying that it's probably busier than uh, yeah, Cable right. Beach in Broome. You can still get a spot to yourself, man. It's huge. Absolutely huge. I mean, there's no one around us at the moment. Closest car or other people set up for a day use is about uh, two or three hundred metres away. So, beautiful. Good morning, and we're just in the process of packing up here because we're going to the beach. We're going to Tiwa Beach to camp for um, the night. 
So super pumped about that. It looked amazing when we went out there for the day. So yeah, that's gonna be us. And we're gonna get rolling pretty soon because we need to get over there while it's low tide. All right, it's gonna be an awesome night. Here we go, lining up for the punt. down onto the beach hopefully it's not too soft let's get into it This will do just fine. <laughs> oh my god, how beautiful is this? It's good, eh? It's Come good. on, you got to give it to me. Yeah. Less traumatic than Fraser. Oh yeah. Heaps so, easier than Fraser. If you're contemplating Fraser or contemplating here, just come here. Yeah, yeah. This is way easier than Fraser. And I reckon it's nicer. Dare I say it, it's nicer. Whew. It's time for a swim, I think. It's really good to see how much more confident Letitia has got in the ocean. She was never really frightened about it, but she was never really interested in going beyond, you know, smaller waves. Now she's all about going a little bit further, trusting herself, which is really good. Helps we've got actually warm water to swim in, which we really haven't had in a while. But yeah, she's loving it.
looks the goods. Looking forward to some afternoon tea. Banana bread. Ah, oh, might notice I'm wearing my hat. It's not happening very often, but I found once I'm out of the humidity, the hat's actually pretty good. I my head doesn't get as hot. So uh, maybe maybe back on the wool hat. I think it'd be perfect when it's cold, but uh, it's working a treat once you get out of the humidity. So no good far north, but okay once I've got south. So so far okay. Just filming in the back of the car here because the wind's whipped up a bit. So, banana bread, spot on, bloody beautiful. And now it's drink o'clock. So I've run out of fancy lime beers, but I bought this stuff. Lime cello. And it's a, um, a lime flavored liqueur type um, alcohol drink that we bought from the sugar shop in Serena. So, I thought it'd be good to flavour, put that lime flavour in a Great Northern, see how it goes. And 20% alcohol, mid strength beer, brings the mid strength back up to full strength. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that is real good. Ready? Set, go. Twirling champ. Well, I tell you what. We may just have a competitor for Paluby Beach. Paluby's been my number one for the year, but this place, ooh, it's close. It's very close. Ooh, I don't know. I certainly like it better than Cable Beach in Broome. Found that water to be, oh, it's a beautiful color, but really cloudy. Here it's absolutely crystal clear, it's amazing. And to, you know, to get a bit of grass as well, so luxurious. <laughs> and then we got the sand. Um, yeah, I could easily spend a week here. So, TY Beach, wow, great spot. Check it out, Rhonda's made zucchini slice the goods times two I tell you what being here right now definitely makes up for the five days of wind and rain that we um, had to tolerate sticking around this area just so we could come here and experience this place and I'm glad we did I'm glad we stuck around because right here right now it's just magic absolutely love it <laughs> this is this is for me I love this stuff good morning Bloody beautiful night's sleep. Gonna get out there and have a swim after some brekkie. We got uh, scones for morning tea. And the girls are inside, still hanging around in their pajamas, I'd imagine. Let's see what they're doing. What's going on in here? Oh, I come in here and my hair shabby, and I'm in my Vegemite pajamas. <laughs> no one cares, mate. We now twirl. I've just finished my coffee that you made me. Mm. And look at this. Cup, 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 cup. Put up with your scone making. Look. Yep. 
Tisha's designing her bedroom. Dream bedroom. We'll see. Well, we're all having a crack at whipping the cream this morning. <laughs> it's a lot harder when you don't have an electric mixer. See how it's going thicker? So you have it so you can get air into it. Oh, it's whip it. thicker. If you whip have it, it good. Flat. Oh, yeah, you're doing a good job, sweet. Good job. So, so the people have a strong thing like. Scones for brekkie. Scones for brekkie. After a swim in the beautiful water. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> brekkie time. Well, we're all packed up here. Uh, we don't want to leave, but no. we've got to. <laughs> we're just going to roll up the beach to a place called Red Canyon or something like that. And go and have a check out that. There is no red canyon. Yeah, there's a red canyon up here. a bummer red canyon no go entry prohibited it's obviously been some sort of slide up there or something anyway that's us that's us done from ty beach we're gonna T -Y beach. i'll tell you what it's been amazing just sitting here watching we've seen what am what animals have we seen It is an absolutely amazing spot. Yeah, and, um, so we're at um, Zone 4 and the northern, the very northern part of Zone 4. And it's a big grass flat area which is perfect for caravans and it's absolutely amazing. I could definitely stay here for a week. Easy. Yeah. Provided yes. you had good weather conditions. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about the weather. Yeah. In the water, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's crystal clear. It'd be awesome if we had a little foamy for Letitia to learn to surf on, because a uh, foamy would be a wave catching machine here on these little fun waves. Anyway, we're gonna roll down the beach and roll off the beach and get on to the punt. Oh, here's another one. And then we're gonna go to the Sunshine Coast to visit Rhonda's sister. Yeah. And my cousins! And yeah, Letitia's gonna have some cuzzy time. So we'll be on the sunny coast for, I don't know, about a week or so. And we, we're not gonna do what we do in every city and stay for three weeks, people. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately, but it'd be very good to see some family, wouldn't it? Yeah. Especially ones we haven't seen in a while.
We got the cuzzies on board. Yeah. Or one of the cuzzies. So you might see someone extra in the back. <laughs> we're heading over, well we're hanging out in Brisbane at the moment and we're heading over to Bribey Island for the day. Going out on the beach and hopefully find a nice spot and pull up there for the day and swim and chill out. Yeah. Well, he's the second cousin. Cousin, we're airing down here, and she's been dying to get on video, haven't you? Yep. <laughs> Are you gonna air down your tyres? That's it. See how it's all not starting to make the noise, but it's not really making the noise yet. Now what do we do? <gasps> Doing it. <laughs> well, we got some four-wheel drive newbies with us. Yep. They've <laughs> never turned that dial. They've never put, never ever engaged four-wheel drive in their car. <laughs> So, this will be interesting. What have you done, mate? What's happened? Oh, speedy in front. <laughs> we get involved, that's what not these people are. Well, I'll talk to you on the radio. I'll walk with you, Ben. They're going to sell like that until we know that they're safety through some of the bigger stuff. Lagoon, Bribe Island. here and gonna figure out how we're gonna get out of here because <laughs> it's super soft sand so we'll, um yeah we'll get going well i think valves would say the tide we should be able to go on some harder sand maybe yeah it's just get getting, momentum up get into that harder sand it's pretty rutted anyway we'll give it a crack wow oh my god that bit <laughs> was bumpy mm. wasn't it scarlet yep <laughs> Yeah, my seat was shaking on, around to like bananas. Uh, yeah. Did All mommy like do good like getting out? Do you think? Yeah. Mommy do good getting out? Yeah. How chewed up is it now? Yeah, I know. <laughs> How was that? You're a four wheel driver. Yeah. I think half my car's back there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was so excited because I just finished the year of schoolwork on a Wednesday. I got it done because it's raining outside and there was nothing else to do and then maybe we're going to the pool later. 
I just smashed it. It was amazing. Yes. It is a great effort. You've done amazing. Uh -huh. That's it. So we're done. School complete for 2021. A bit sad, wasn't it? We had our final lesson today. Uh, yes, we did have my final lesson today with my teacher. And we're going to see her when we go back. Yeah, you've done good. Well done. Changed a lot over the year, got more confident. Yep. When we're finished. With uh, a little bit earlier than mainstream school though, isn't it? Yeah, but at least that's good, so I don't have to do school work. So we're, um, we're on the Gold Coast. We haven't uh, kept you up that, what's going on for a while. But yeah. um, we left Rhonda's sister's place. <laughs> <laughs> got it right that time. Uh, yesterday to come down here to the Gold Coast and spend a couple of days uh, we wanted to go and check out uh, investment property that we've got here and just chill out for a couple of days and enjoy the the park because we we come here quite frequently and we're at the um, Gold Coast Big Four Helensvale Tourist holiday park, yeah. park Holiday Park one or the other and they put in a massive big new slide area but um, yeah, we, of course we rock up and it starts pouring rain <laughs> but this is the quietest we've ever seen this park there's only probably about six or seven setups around the place mm. uh, and it's, it's good uh, though yeah it's so good the first time ever i got to walk into the laundry and use the washing machine and dryer with no kick yeah. wasn't having to get up and so yeah i yeah. only use the dryer because it's raining i went over to the the um pool and you can get a cabana all to yourself and there was one other person in the pool so we're going to hit the pool doesn't matter if it's rain or not still nice and warm we had a good time in brisbane we got out and went about did some tiki touring around and we went to we had a day in the city took letitia to uh, brisbane we walked around kangaroo point and i jumped on a ferry went over to south bank and then we kicked around south bank for a while and then we caught a some scooters. Yeah, scooters from oh, South scooters Bank. Yeah, we caught scooters yeah. back from South Bank it's to South Kangaroo Point. So that was good. So we're going to go to the pool shortly and show you the water slides and um, figure out whatever else we're going to be doing around the place. a big tick for Queensland done so we rolled out of the uh, caravan park on Helensvale this morning um, we didn't, the yeah we didn't come up with anything else to do in Queensland did everything that we wanted to do now we're back in New South Wales mm. good timing though too it's pretty wet up here so yeah. there wasn't much point staying around in the wet so we'll have to do a um, do a wrap on uh, Queensland. So, Letitia, what was your favourite experience and favourite campsite in Queensland? Uh, favourite experience probably ocean rafting. Uh, favourite place probably Brisbane and Innisfail because in Innis <coughs> in Innisfail we explored around. Boulders. 
and I enjoyed walking around the city, doing the electric scooters again. So yeah. over Love Heart Reef so that well, you could finally see that that was pretty cool um, and I really enjoyed the lava caves at the Umdara experience because I hadn't done anything like that before and my favourite thing I think the place I loved finally getting to Julia Creek I really liked Julia Creek we didn't get up to too much except for the, the baths and riding around but it was such a Nice little relaxing stay, it's really nice. Uh, my favourite place here for camping was definitely Tiwa Beach. And I was just itching to get back there, I freaking love that. It was beautiful, pristine. Uh, favourite experience was, yeah, probably agree with Letitia, the flight. And uh, the flight and going to Whitehaven Beach, that was awesome. It was, you know, such a treat to hang out in the world's best beach yeah. as voted by TripAdvisor. What's well, a nice day. Yeah. And I love that Casarina Coast. Casarina? Casarina. Cassowary Coast. All that uh, coast and a little bit of inland stuff around uh, Cairns and the Athelton Tablelands. Jeez, I, I love that area. Good work. I could easily live there. Yeah, it was good though. We got to experience lots of different things we had never done in Queensland before. We got a bit of a mixed bag on weather, stays between, you know, sugar car farm stays. We did some free camps, we did river camps, we did beach camps. It was hot when we first started in the Central Park. So it was quite a, a good mixed bag. A few nice day trips, catching up with people again that we'd met on the way or very early on. Um, and um, which was really nice to see like you know Ruth and Stu again which we hadn't seen and uh, catching up with family in Queensland has been really good because we haven't had a chance to do that obviously for the last couple of years so that was really nice uh, to finally see some family and friends that we hadn't seen so yeah pretty good yeah yeah so what's the date today 25th 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 yeah. 4th or 5th of November. It's the 5th, I've got the date on my watch. 25th of November. And yeah, we're getting the whole southeast Queensland region and northern New South Wales is getting pumped by uh, El Nina. So hence the um, lots of rain and it's going to be rainy for the rest of the week. So. See, that's the view. Mm. We have been weather affected in Queensland, but uh, yeah. It has dampened our spirits, and it is what it is, really. You just gotta, just gotta deal with it. Yeah, and we've been up in this this area a lot, so you know we didn't want to, we didn't need to do any of the theme parks and stuff. It is also schoolies week, so you know that's a big avoidance area that we've had zero interest in, sort of hanging around a bunch of those, and obviously us two being judged about how old we would be, just yeah. walking around the street. So no one's got time for that, and. The, the weather sort of played. Letitia would have liked to go to the theme parks and stuff, but that's something we can do later. I think when the weather's nicer or that the queues would have been good. But still, that little bit of uncertainty, I think, with that. I'm not really comfortable with all those things just yet. But yeah, pretty yeah, good. So we, uh, we're heading to Kingscliff, northern New South Wales. Um, check that out, see if it's worth a camp. So we decided not to stay in Kingscliff. We uh, went there, had a bit of a checkers around, had uh, had a nice lunch. And then um, it was actually pretty busy, busier than I thought it would be. And we decided to sort of get away from the coast because the La Nina weather system that's pumping the east coast at the moment, it's gonna rain there for the next four or five days. So we thought, oh, we'll, we'll try and avoid it and go inland a bit. So that's what we did. Last night we stayed in a place called Kyogle and just at the showground there and we figured out after talking to a couple of people why it was so busy in Kingscliff and it was super busy in Kyogle as well at the showground because everyone, well not everyone, but there are a heap of people there just pretty much living there at the moment waiting for the Queensland border to open. 
and that was the same at Kingscliff which sort of made sense because it's right near the border everyone's just waiting on the 17th of December for the borders to open so they can get back home there was people there at Cryoga that have been there since March <laughs> far out poor buggers so then um, we left there this morning and we've come to our next stop which is Secret Lake Retreat and it's that new that we are the first people to come and camp here. Because it's closed. It's not closed, it hasn't even opened yet. So it opens officially on the 1st of December and uh, we rang up and um, said oh no we don't need any amenities or anything like that we're fully self-contained and they went yep yeah, no dramas you can go into the unallocated section and this is where we are secret lake retreat have a look at this place so we're about 40 k's north of Grafton uh, inland on the New South Wales north of the coast so beautiful spot and when you're going to go you can um, take out kayaks so it doesn't cost anything go paddling around on their lake they've got a, um, a swimming platform out there so we're going to go and hit all that up so yeah bloody beautiful spot hey sweet yeah and we're gonna go kayaking if the audio is crap i apologize i don't have the microphone on because we're gonna go out kayaking and probably get wet so they've got their own little beach area and pontoon got their little swim platform over there and that's all the campsites so there's no powered sites here they do have i believe drinking water but no power it's cool they got all these communal fire pits everywhere all around the park and there's the camp kitchen and there's a another set of amenities or not amenities more um, toilets, I think. There's no showers here, I don't believe. Oh, there's a bit of a gap here, let's have a look. Oh, I know. Three showers. Look at that. Beautiful. Brand new. So friggin' good. And that there is a dump point. And there's firewood over the back there that uh, you can collect. And I think all this up here is an unallocated area. You can camp there. Or you can camp around the, there's two unallocated spots around the, the lake. And how good are these fire pits and communal fire areas? Beautiful. That big orange one is a double. Paddle harder, mate. Paddle, paddle. Uh, uh. We can go on that soft mat over there. And yeah, it's definitely quite fun to all this. Quite relaxing too. And we get it all to ourselves. Now this is what you call a VIP camping trip, don't you think, Dad? Yeah. Must be awesome getting chauffeured around in a boat, the same as you do in a car. <laughs> hey, I helped out. I chauffeured you around the first bit, boys.
they let you uh, go in and collect firewood from the property. Um, don't have to pay anything for it. So it's firewood collecting time. Bye time. So we've had a few showers and here's another one. This is probably the heaviest shower we've had in Savi. And it's trying to put my fire out. Bastard. I don't know if the GoPro is gonna pick this up. <laughs> we have literally got a, an, a, a rainbow above us. Well, that's us done from Secret Lake Retreat. What do you think of that? Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, for a little spot, isn't it? Yeah, it's very privileged that they uh, allowed us to stay before they had officially opened. But yeah, we are very lucky. Yeah. Secret. The details up. Secret Lake Retreat. Bloody beautiful spot. Um, it's definitely going on the list of places to come back to. Love it. Well, we're at uh, Yamba and we're at the Blue Dolphin Holiday Resort. And we picked this place specifically for one reason. They've got a swim up pool bar. We're gonna go hit it. <laughs> So, good morning from Yamba. We're packing up here today. Don't know where we're heading yet. I'm hoping to head down to the grandparents, but you know. Watch your heads. Um, so, we, we did a walk around yesterday morning, which was great. And then, you well, evening-ish yesterday. And walked along the waterfront, walked along the jetty. Um, and we went to the markets yesterday, so that was really cool. And uh, we didn't get um, much there, but there was this school group there singing and playing guitars, which was pretty cool. So, a big tick from Yamba. My tick's in the van, so I can't do it right now. But yeah, what do you think of Yamba? Yeah, we've driven past it so many times and seen the turn off on the highway, so uh, it was finally good to come and see what the place is all about. Yeah. It's beautiful. Let's see what the, the MRS thought of it. Oh, the MRS for you too, am I? Yep, I've learned how to say it. Ah, no, oh, I enjoyed Yamber. I think I'd definitely come back. I'd like to come back and uh, when the weather's better. Yeah. And spend some time at the beaches. Ironically, we've seen in a couple of days now. Yeah, But um, in the background you can see. Yeah, I think we'd definitely come back. We'll hang out some of those little beaches we saw. Yeah. So, fingers crossed we get to go to the grandparents. I could put my comfy dress on, you know, for the squishy hugs. Fingers crossed. We'll probably just get there tomorrow, but never know. So, yeah. I'm not dreaming. Oh my God, I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming, Mum. No. Am I sure? Are you sure? She put a needle in me to go to sleep. Thank you so much, Daddy. Welcome, sweetheart. Ready to unbuckle. Ready to unbuckle. Now, Nana doesn't know either. Oh, okay. Got a beep beep. Don't beep, Dad. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, today we are in Canberra and we're heading to our house to get the keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a sad and happy day. Mm. Sad because our travels, our yeah. lap has come, come to an end. And a little bit excited because we finally get a keys to our new house. Which we're going to pick up now. A new adventure. And I think it's, um, it's nice because we only have what, a week and a bit to go and we're yeah. on a camping holiday already. Yeah. So that's nice. Mm. So we're just leaving our last campsite for the lap at uh, Canberra. We'll have to get the keys, go have a checkers of the new house, and then we'll come back, get the caravan, and park it up in the driveway. So yeah, that's the that's the end of this lap. We'll show you a little bit about um, moving in, and that'll be the end of the episode and um, the end of our big lap sort of series that yep. we unofficially have been doing. <laughs> yes. But we will still be doing YouTube videos of our weekend trips and on school holidays. They just won't be as often, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be putting them out fortnightly because I think everyday life won't be as exciting. Yeah, I really want to keep the channel going. I, I, um, oh, we all enjoy that and, and I really enjoy putting the episodes together. So I think... And as we've said uh, throughout the year, we this is not um, new to us, so we have been doing this for a number of years. The yep. whole YouTube thing is new to us, so yep. I definitely think we'll um, we'll just take our camera gear wherever we go, even if it's for a weekend away or an overnight or whatever. We will um, always take it with us, and Hi. we'll always have it there, and I'll always be able to put an episode together, whether it's a you know a snappy weekender or our extended long trips but that won't be for a while because we've got to build the old leaf balance back up <laughs> for long trips that's right go get these keys and we'll show you our new crib yes it's a new house Are you in? Ah. She's in! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Our new place. It is very, very nice. Just a bit more room than the caravan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, it's all happening. They're slowly getting in. Getting all through it. Yep. Mm. Guess we're not yet carrying too much. Yeah. How are you going, sweetheart? I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. Look, I get all my clothes back. Yeah, look. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Opening all your boxes up. Still got lots to go, lots of boxes to unpack. Well, that is the end of this episode. And it'll be the last episode that we do on our lap of Australia. We didn't even call it a series, but it'll be the final episode. We've um, shown you from pack up at um, our house in Sydney to unpacking at our house in Canberra. Yeah, so that took us, uh, we powered through, took it, had it done in about four days, really, you know, five, some tweaking. So that was really good, exhausting. We forgot how much it is to walk around a house that isn't 21 feet. So <laughs> that was, uh, we had some big days and tired feet. But that's all done. So that was really good. I enjoyed the lap very much. Of course we did. Had a great time, didn't we? Oh, we loved it. It was, uh, you know, the best thing we ever did. Best year of our lives. If you've got any questions or you want to know anything about you know our whole travels or where we went and um, you know K's and, and fuel consumption all that sort of stuff you know put a comment in ask the question we're thinking about doing a wrap-up video where we'll talk about all those things you know schooling and um, how we planned on going places and 
what we use to research where we were going, fuel economy, costs, campsites we stayed at, all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that, want to know some more things, put some comments below. Otherwise, keep subscribed because it's the only way you'll know when there's a new episode coming out. So we're going to keep the channel going somehow because as, a, as we've said throughout the year, this is not our first time that we've been out sort of touring. It's definitely our first time doing a lap, but um, we're going to keep the traveling going and whenever we go anywhere now, as you can see behind me, the camera bag's there and we'll just hit record and take it up half the back seat. <laughs> we'll just hit record and create something. Yeah. And yeah, as you can see, we're in the car again. So, <laughs> so it did, we didn't spend long in the house before we're off on another adventure. Yeah, one week at home, that's enough. We're back out on it again. <laughs> yeah, life's back to normal. Well, this time it's in um, holiday mode. We're not in touring mode. It's Christmas! Christmas! It is Christmas time. Yeah. So, um, big thank you and shout out to Jason from Espresso Tenango. He supported us all year with coffee. If you love coffee, and let's face it, who doesn't love coffee? Go and check out Espresso Tenango. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a, a link in the description and to his website here, espressotenango.com.au. Um, just unbelievably good coffee. Yeah, and hot chocolates and all yeah. sorts of things though. So I kept this one with hot chocolate and marshmallows, so that was really good. But yeah, uh, we loved the coffee. Mm. Still love the coffee. Still keeping us going today. So we've uh, got half a bag left. Thank you very much, Jason. Yes. And thanks to everybody else who subscribed and commented. I mean, we got people all from Alaska watching the videos everywhere, every fortnight which is pretty cool and uh, lots of people commenting and it's all been positive so awesome yeah. thank you very much for the support that's uh, exactly what we need to keep going I uh, kept us motivated and kept going and making and creating all the videos and the content so thank you yep we appreciate all the uh, the honest feedback you know what you saw is pretty much how we are so um, it's good to see that you know just the little old us gave you something to do <laughs> all right guys well this is the end of it the end of our 2021 lap thanks so much for watching we'll see you when we're looking at you